The animated drawings you're about to see and this model represent 35 years of effort by the citizens of San Diego and the region to build a new main library. You can see what a great location this is in the East Village, near other gathering spots. In the beginning of the design process, we involved hundreds of people in a series of public workshops. And what emerged as a very popular feature was this dome top. Visually, the dome differentiates the library from the high rises and the hotels around it. And symbolically, it ties this building of our time to the regional architectural traditions of the past. The new central library was designed first and foremost to serve the community's need for information, literacy, and knowledge in the 21st century. And secondly, as a symbol of San Diego's commitment to the future. From the east, you enter the library through this two-story arcade inspired by Balboa Park. And from the west, one enters directly into the garden court. This large, shaded, and adaptable space celebrates San Diego's wonderful climate and is intended as San Diego's town square and gathering space. On the right is a 350-seat auditorium whose doors slide open to the courtyard. Here is the outdoor cafe, and you can relax in the sun with a good book and a cup of coffee. Now we're moving into the main lobby. As with the auditorium, these glass walls open and together create a space that can bring together up to a thousand people to enjoy a concert, a book discussion, a wide variety of community events. Entering the auditorium, a cultural center used for any number of public gatherings, including music, film, dance performances, lectures, seminars. On top is what I like to call the public penthouse, another unique idea suggested by San Diego citizens. It's a three-story high glass-enclosed reading room protected from the sun by latticework dome. By day, the solar collectors of the dome will collect electricity for the building, and at night, the lights from the reading room will make this dome glow in a magical way. Now we're looking up into the reading room with spectacular views of the bay and the Coronado Bridge. Like other high-tech cities, for instance, Seattle and San Jose, our new library will be a digital resource with over 400 computer terminals and hundreds of wired study tables. As we scan up toward the overhead dome, you can see the outdoor rooftop terraces that allow library users to enjoy the fresh air and view. On the ninth floor of the library is this 400-seat multipurpose room with its amazing view. This floor also includes an art gallery where the work of local artists will be featured, an outdoor sculpture court, genealogy room, the library's unique collection of rare books and artifacts. An exciting new addition to this regional learning center is a charter high school planned on 76,000 square feet here on floors six and seven. The building was designed for these floors to be independent, so there's a seamless fit between the idea of the high school and the idea of the library. While uh, controlled access is allowed to the students, uh, there's really two independent circulation systems. For instance, the high school will have its own a dedicated entrance and lobby here at the ground level, its own elevators, its own stairwell. This is an exciting idea. There's really nothing like this uh, that I'm aware of in the country. There will be plenty of public parking both underneath the building and across the street and Tailgate Park. As a resource for all residents of San Diego County, the new Central Library will be easy to reach by foot, by trolley, by bicycle, or by bus and car from the outlying areas. Significantly, the project enhances the Park to Bay Link, this long promenade that connects the city's two dominant natural features, Balboa Park and San Diego Bay. The library will be the one public building that belongs to everyone, rich or poor, young or old, for ourselves and for our future. Thank you.